LibriVox is a group of worldwide volunteers who read and record public domain texts creating free public domain audiobooks for download from their website and other digital library hosting sites on the Internet. It was founded in 2005 by Hugh McGuire to provide "...acoustical liberation of books in the public domain", and the LibriVox objective is "...to make all books in the public domain available, for free, in audio format on the Internet." On 6 August 2016, the project completed project number 10,000, and from 2009 to 2017 was producing about 1,000 items per year. Most releases are in the English language, but many non-English works are also available. There are multiple affiliated projects that are providing additional content. LibriVox is closely affiliated with Project Gutenberg from where the project gets some of its texts, and the Internet Archive that hosts their offerings. History LibriVox was started in August 2005 by Montreal-based writer Hugh McGuire, who set up a blog, and posed the question. The first recorded book was The Secret Agent by Joseph Conrad. The main features of the way LibriVox works have changed little since its inception, although the technology that supports it has been improved by the efforts of its volunteers with web development skills. Etymology of LibriVox LibriVox is an invented word inspired by Latin words liber book in its genitive form libri and vox voice, giving the meaning book voice or voice of the book. The word was also coined because of other connotations. Liber also means child and free, independent, unrestricted. As the LibriVox forum says, we like to think LibriVox might be interpreted as child of the voice and free voice. Finally, the other link we like is library, so you could imagine it to mean library of voice. There has been no decision or consensus by LibriVox founders or the community of volunteers for a single pronunciation of LibriVox. It is accepted that any audible pronunciation is accurate. Topic: <laughs> Organization and funding. LibriVox is a volunteer-run, free content, public domain project. It has no budget or legal personality. The development of projects is managed through an Internet forum, supported by an admin team, who also maintain a searchable catalog database of completed works. In early 2010, LibriVox ran a fundraising drive to raise $20,000 to cover hosting costs for the website of about $5,000 per year and improve front and back-end usability. The target was reached in 13 days, and so the fundraising ended and LibriVox suggested that supporters consider making donations to its affiliates and partners, Project Gutenberg and the Internet Archive. Production process Volunteers can choose new projects to start, either recording on their own or inviting others to join them, or they can contribute to projects that have been started by others. Once a volunteer has recorded his or her contribution, it is uploaded to the site, and proof listened by members of the LibriVox community. Finished audiobooks are available from the LibriVox website, and MP3 and AUG Vorbis files are hosted separately by the Internet Archive. Recordings are also available through other means, such as iTunes, and, being free of copyright, they are frequently distributed independently of LibriVox on the Internet and otherwise. Content LibriVox only records material that is in the public domain in the United States, and all LibriVox books are released with a public domain dedication. Because of copyright restrictions, LibriVox produces recordings of only a limited number of contemporary books. These have included, for example, the 9-11 Commission Report which is a work of the U.S. federal government therefore in the public domain. The LibriVox catalog is varied. It contains much popular classic fiction, but also includes less predictable texts, such as Immanuel Kant's Critique of Pure Reason and a recording of the first 500 digits of pi. The collection also features poetry, plays, religious texts for example, English versions of the Quran and books from various translations of the Bible and non-fiction of various kinds. In January 2009, the catalog contained approximately 55% fiction and drama, 25% nonfiction, and 20% poetry, calculated by numbers of recordings. 
As of November 7, 2018, the most viewed item M was The Adventures of Tom Sawyer in a 2006 solo recording by John Greenman. Around 90% of the catalog is recorded in English, but recordings exist in 31 languages altogether as of February 2010. Chinese, French and German are the most popular languages other than English amongst volunteers, but recordings have also been made in languages including Urdu and Tagalog. Reputation LibriVox has garnered significant interest, in particular from those interested in the promotion of volunteer-led content and alternative approaches to copyright ownership on the Internet. It has received support from the Internet Archive and Project Gutenberg. Intellectual Freedom and Commons proponent Mike Linksveyer described it in 2008 as perhaps the most interesting collaborative culture project this side of Wikipedia. The project has also been featured in press around the world and has been recommended by the BBC's Click, MSNBC's The Today Show, Reason, Wired, the USPC magazine and the UK Metro and Sunday Times newspapers. <laughs> Quality A frequent concern of listeners is the site's policy of allowing any recording to be published as long as it is understandable and faithful to the source text. This means that some recordings are of lower audio fidelity, some feature background noises, non-native accents or other perceived imperfections in comparison to professionally recorded audiobooks. While some listeners may object to those books with chapters read by multiple readers, others find this to be a non-issue or even a feature, though many books are narrated by a single reader. See also Virtual volunteering Voice acting References External links LibriVox Cita LibriVox home page and LibriVox catalog of audio books articles Xeni Tech Story from NPR's Day to Day. Amateur audio books catch fire on the web. Reason Magazine, The Wealth of LibriVox, May 2007. LibriVox Mirrors LibriVox at Internet Archive, Full Mirror with streaming and reviews.